In the last couple of years, the private sector has really come to grasp its responsibility about uh, sustainable production. They, they realize it's not just about profits and it's not about keeping shareholders happy. It's really about having a license to produce and being acceptable in society and investing in the long term. However, I feel very firmly that there is an area of research that the private sector will not touch, that the public sector must take into account, and that's the far more upstream sort of scientific breakthrough areas. And, and my favorite example is that if you think about photosynthesis, which is the only sustainable um, process we have in, in, uh, on this planet, uh, the efficiency of, of the conversion of solar energy into food type ingredients um, is an, and chemicals is still very, very low. Well, making a breakthrough at the f that forefront of improving the efficiency of photosynthesis would be fantastic. Within the chain, of course, the retailers are increasingly um, calling the shots in a way because it's, they are the link to the consumer. And um, the, the retailers have a tendency to hedge the fluctuating prices of, of resources by going uh, and out and actually buying up companies lower down the chain, closer to production. So that is another type of private-private partnership which is not necessarily in the uh, full advantage of both the farmer and the consumer. And I think the limitation is not so much that there is any one uh, party dominating and, and limiting things, it's more that it's such a complex chain, uh, geographically as well as in terms of, of subject matter, that nobody has the overview. And then regulating agencies and governments and policies and uh, they all um, sort of intermingle as well and, and that makes it complicated. Uh, an international system of food information or agriculture price information also in terms of potential risks in, in food safety would be a, a real help I think. We're not using sufficiently the potential of the digital age in the agricultural sector. The other issue as a corollary in there is that of course there's a lot of of poor quality data out on the internet. Um, if we can do something to improve quality and for example link uh, production data with more georeference data, we can actually answer very simple questions that nobody can answer today. For example, are all the poor or most of the poor people were living in areas of drought? We don't even know that because we have no georeferenced information. So there's great potential out there.